good early morning. I am in the parking lot, which did not exist two years ago, um, outside the celebration office for my fertility doctor. Um, we really kind of showed me coming here, but for a quick blood draw, it's just a quicker location to go to instead of all the way to Winter Park. Um, so this trip was truly based around going to see our fertility doctor and that was to do some pre-transfer procedures, just all that good stuff that goes into before transfer. I am actually today, obviously things got switched up. Um, before we really went into everything I'm having done, when we got back to vlogging, that was when I had the chemical pregnancy. So we never really explained everything that is going to be going down while we're here because now I'm gonna have to go through all of all of those things that, um, that we originally had planned. However, before I can get basically anything else done, we have to make sure that my HCG levels, which is the blood test that shows that I am pregnant or my body still has, you know, pregnancy hormones going on, is below zero. And basically it's been a week since my last draw, so they thought that that was a good enough time. It's basically the very first, <laughs> first moment I can go get it checked being in Florida. Um, so hopefully it will get those results really quick because it's through the clinic and not an outside um, diagnostics company. And I could have my first ultrasound just to take a, a better look inside um, as soon as this afternoon, which was actually <laughs> scheduled weeks and weeks and weeks ago. This was always the plan. Um, that when I was pregnant, we were gonna keep it for a six week baby appointment. And now, I just, this has been such a whirlwind. Hopefully, I'll be able to go and get that done today so that the ball can continue rolling. So that is the morning. So obviously, there's a lot of mixed emotions today. It's so strange to be wishing for low, I mean, below zero beta numbers today when just over a week ago, never would have imagined. But that's what we're doing so definitely a tough day luckily it's just a quick blood draw this morning um and i'll get to go back and be with everybody the girls brought back bagels from new york so that'll be yummy um yeah we're just gonna keep doing the next right thing <laughs> I hope you can hear that. Because we're gonna go We are in Heroes parking lot going to a slightly rainy Magic Kingdom after a hectic day and a massive poop that James just did. <laughs> Sarah changed them. The largest poop. poop. On his head. Yeah, poop on his head. I might. But needless to say we're getting Casey's and we're watching fireworks for the first time in forever. Cue Olaf. And us too. Yeah, you guys haven't, seen, haven't seen it, seen yeah? The fireworks yet. Forsaken. I know. <laughs> wow. Look at that fresh railroad station. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Funky Mickey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Ten years ago, today, for the first time in Peter Brian Brookhart's life, I stepped onto property. Right. Ten years ago today. So ten years ago. It was my first your visit Disney here at Burr. So we're coming up on our college program anniversaries, a whole bunch of special dates. But today was when we got here. Because I, we, Sarah wanted me to bring, go to Disney World and experience the magic before making magic. So we came a week before it started. Mm -hmm. So we have a very special anniversary coming to celebrate this weekend yes. of our college program. Mm -hmm. But first... And really meeting Megan. I worked with Megan 10 years ago. We've been friends for 10 years. Yeah. They're, they're old. Okay. We'll get up a, a closer shot, but look at that beautiful castle with all the decorations. We haven't seen it in person with all the, all the decorations. I think the pink has already dulled in the sun. I think that was the plan. Like, it was a very vibrant pink when it was first painted where I was like, hey! Looks great. I but love now, it. Halloween here. I know the decorations. I'm gonna get something candy corn flavored. Candy flavored candy corn flavored corn dog? Ooh. Candy corn dog. Oh look at the beautiful Casey's decorations are back. I love it. Look at the fresh corn dog nuggets. I actually got a coffee because I'm a 75 year old Italian man. She didn't hear what I said. You're a 75 year old Italian man. Why? Because you got coffee. Yes. You guessed like... all of that. <laughs> oh my goodness, the Casey's Corner. Beef. We got a mint julep. A massive Coke. They have not had large Cokes, right? I feel like I feel like they were gone for a while. Now it like defaults to it at Casey's. Mmm. Peter got like coffee. Massive foot Don't forget to get a yeah. <laughs> they I did not them. mean to order that. <laughs> <laughs> and did you is this the first time you've done this? No, it's like the third <laughs> So yeah. James loved the corn dog nuggets. Actually, did we ever actually give him any of the hot dog? I don't think so. We just had the, the breading. Which drink would you want? I'm gonna hold the coffee. I got me a Joffrey's. We're gonna go to Winnie the Pooh. People move first. Oh, people move first. It, ha it hasn't hit me yet that we're actually seeing fireworks. So like right now, like I've gotten so accustomed to like just the end of the night happening and then us leaving and not like the magical abyssness of fireworks at the end of the oh day. Oh my goodness. So. That's gotta set in, or I'm gonna be in for a big ol' surprise. Oh yeah. Here comes the people mover. Are you ready for the people mover, Jamesy boy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dance it, dance it, dance it out. Dance it, such a big kid. Sit in the people mover, yeah. One amazing ride to the next, and Megan has stolen James. I have. He's ready for Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if I'm gonna allow him to go on the ride with Megan though. He may need to go on it with us. It's our favorite, one of our favorites. <laughs> Come on. Me too. The secret is you just have to put your hand in front of it. You don't actually have to touch it. The East Wing. Don't you ask me, he'll never reach that cave. Don't you think you'll get great, doesn't it? Watch out for Evelyn and Mortal. Pretty pumped. 
He's Hearing the music. He's about the cast member telling everybody where to walk. Yeah, he's loving the cast member over here. Cast members, How does James. Play? We're away from the hub right now. We don't see too much projections, but we see a beautiful view of Tinkerbell flying in a great spot for fireworks. And wait for it. Wait for it. Jamesy Boy's first Disney World firework! Fireworks were amazing. James is asleep. We like the 50, but what we don't like about it is that it covers the clock, and that's so important to Cinderella getting home by midnight. But what do you guys think? Cinderella has no more curfew. <laughs> <laughs> I, <guess. laughs> I, I mean, it. I guess she yeah. is. She's here. She doesn't need to know what time it is because she's here. This is really controversial, but I actually really loved the cake. <laughs> I actually really like the cake too. It was too. so nostalgic and like yeah. so quirky. Yeah, I like it too. I like the 50, but I didn't think about how it covers the clock. So, you know, I want these the two decided to ruin Yeah. Peter's just petty. Want the clock. <laughs> and he wants the clock back. I don't care to watch a carry magic man. Because you need to rely on that clock. We came into the Emporium to look at the Halloween merchandise, but it seems that the focal point is the 50th. Maybe the Halloween stuff's in the front? All right, we found it. I don't know if we told the vlog yet, but we are going to a boobash in a couple weeks. Yes. Wait a minute, a hocus pocus. What? It's just a bunch of hocus. Pocus. I don't know if Sarah's seen this. Yes. I love this. We need all of the Hocus Pocus. Alright, I'm a fan of this Oogie Boogie sweatshirt. I really, really, really am. And the lounge fly is pretty sweet. Yes, I also have candy corn in my car right now. Wait a minute, when did they come with a small world board game? We are getting this, not today, but before we head back north, we're getting that small world game and we're gonna play it. I gotta check out Main Street one last time before we leave. And the fall decorations, all the pumpkins are lit up. Oh, it is. It is good to be home. Look at that Main Street. Look at the pumpkins. The jack-o'-lanterns are all lit. The fall leaves are out. There's some kind of MC over there talking. You guys know. You guys know my name, middle name is ridiculous. I am going to walk back to TTC, taking the Grand Floridian path. They are going to take the bus, because the ferry and monorail are crazy, and James is asleep in the stroll, and I can keep him asleep by walking all the way from the Grand Floridian to the Polynesian and to the TTC. This is going to be fun, plus I get some alone time with James, even though he's asleep. All right, coming up on Grand Floridian, I've got a good sweat going. James is still asleep, which is the goal here, but they are on the bus already. There was no line, so looking at all those crowds in front of Magic Kingdom, don't forget, if you're going to TTC, they often have a bus that no one really knows about. But I'm going to walk through Polly, and I can use the cast member 
crosswalk there to get across to TTC parking, whereas they have to take the bus and then walk through the normal means. So we might get there close to the same time if we go straight to the cars. Okay, didn't get to go in the Grand Floridian lobby, but it, it makes sense to sneak through the Polynesian lobby. So that's awesome. Um, it's looking like I might lose this one. The girls got off the bus at TTC when I was passing the wedding pavilion. So here's the parking for Polly. And there's this path here that leads to a walkway across the street in front of the Polynesian to get to the TTA parking lot or Heroes side. I see them. I'm gonna be a brat and I'm gonna go a little to the right, run a little bit and come down the aisle to sneak up on them. I won this. And James is so asleep. They have no idea I'm right here. They're just chit-chatting about their October plans because the Peters just have some cool trips planned, but they don't even realize that I'm right here. <laughs> Beach, uh, I'm very sweaty. Very disgustingly sweaty. Are you enjoying the symphony? I am. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.